What's up guys? Welcome back to another Steam free to play review or walkthrough. We have Prologue for a Vacant Kingdom. Welcome to the world of Prologue for a Vacant Kingdom. We're sure you're, that you're just itching to play, but we're afraid that you'll have to sit tight for just a little while longer. First, we'll need to calibrate your gaming experience. Hit me with it. Yeah, sure, why not? Thank you for your cooperation. First, we'll need your name. Please enter your, your name on the next screen. Oh, I... Oh, is my name gonna fit? Oh, that's rare. Ah, uh, kinda. I can't put a space, but good enough. Love it. And, uh, hey. Healthy Panda is a pretty good name, but it's a bit hard to remember. How about we just call you Bringus instead? No, I don't want to be Bringus. No. Ah, right, you win. You'll start the game as Faulty Panda. Thank you. By the way, you can toggle... Okay, let's do that real quick. F11. Hey! By the way, you can use a controller to play this game if you want. I'm good. If you were to plug in a gamepad right now, it'd probably just work. Unless it's something obscure, maybe. Try it if you want. Or just keep using mouse or keyboard. That's perfectly fine as well. Let's select a button style, just in case you decide to use a controller later on, okay? Uh... Next, please choose from one of the attractive window flavors. Oh, that's cool! Lastly, we'll run through a short questionnaire in order to determine your gamer psychological typing. Are you ready? Yeah. You return to town from a dungeon with a big sack of gold in your hand. What's the first thing you buy? Uh... I have a big sack of gold? Uh, to be honest, I'm gonna get the purple gun blade. That's just fact. I mean, I'd like to say pet nutrients for my pet, but no, that's not what... Someone on your team is having a hard time and keeps dying. What do you do? Tell them they suck. Uh, depends, I guess. Well, I'd probably... You gain access to a new region of the world. Which place do you explore first? It's in between flaming them and <laughs> giving them a hand. You gain access to a new... Which place do you explore first? Probably Coliseum. That sounds dope. You finally save up enough gold to buy your gamer dream house. What furniture do you decorate it with? Oh, that sounds really good. Frame photograph of your national east. <laughs> no. An ornate, a solid throne, a display case filled with the ears of your foes. Probably the refrigerator. I'm hungry, boy. I haven't ate today. I'm super hungry right now, actually. <laughs> that sounds super good. Congratulations. Your gamer t psyche type is succulent gamer. What does that mean? I'm succulent. Gaming experience calibration has completed. You may now enter the exciting world of Prologue for a Vacant Kingdom. Good luck. Thank you. A long time ago, there was a kingdom on the brink of destruction. A terrible tyrant called Lord Sarpov schemed to seize control. Sarpov and his terrible legion had launched a full-scale attack. Subjects of the kingdom fought valiantly, but were not able to best Sarpov's legion. Things seemed hopeless. And then our hero, until one day, to everyone's astonishment, an outsider rose to the challenge. This outsider was able to defeat Sarpov, and his legion collapsed thereafter. Today, this outsider is known as the Unknown Hero. Years pass. Suddenly, our hero wakes again. Not sure where else to go, our hero visits Navedale, Navedale, the once bustling hub of the kingdom. However, Navedale is empty. Where could everyone have gone? They're dead. Probably. Our hero sets off northwards in search of an answer to his, this question. This is where our story begins. Okay, you can slow time, you can shoot with the- whoa, they still like keys. Uh, okay. Help. Now I got it, I think. Huh. 
Ring the bell. Ding. One moment, sir, madam. Madam. Oh, he's cute. My apologies for the wait. It's just that we weren't expecting one to come through here. The gatekeeper flips over a placard on his desk, changing it from slacking off to open for business. Welcome to Pet Spectral Suits. Sweets, are you a guest? May I see your reservation, please? Reservation? Do you really think that an upscale 6.6 .6 representing Star Resort, like the Spectral, would just let any buster off the street walk through their, our gates? If you want to get past me, then you'll need to pres present your reservation, sir, madam. Madam? As gatekeeper, it's my official duty to request that you get lost. That's not nice. Please let me know if I can assist you in any way in in way in regard to this. We do not have any free rooms right now. I'm afraid that if you do not already have a reservation, then you are out of luck. I'm Renov, the gatekeeper. Not to brag, but I graduated at the top of my class in gate operation school. This is the entrance to Spectral Suites, the classiest and most upscale hotel in the entire Navedale administrative region. The hotel itself was founded over 400 years ago and features luxury accommodations such as complimentary well-rested buff after each every visit. Spectral, is this place haunted? Haunted? Ha! Huh. You surely do not believe in the superstitious nonsense, do you? It's just that most of our clientele are ghosts and spirits. That's is where the name comes from, so it means it's haunted. How much does it cost to stay here? Booking a room in the Spectral Suites is not generally something which is done just by paying money, per se. I cannot tell you anymore. Just know that you have to, to have the right connections to stay here. I suggest heading south of here. There's a lovely little town just a little ways off, which I'm sure will have a myriad of accommodations which are more befitting of your pedigree. That's not nice. Yes? Oh ho ho ho. Ho ho ho. You getting mad? I'm right here, sir, madam. Did you stop that? No. No, I cannot. I beg of you, please stop that incessant ringing. Never. That's enough. As of this moment, we are no longer on first name basis. Were we on first name basis? Gatekeeper is doing his best to ignore you. Oh, is that all you got? Have a splendid day, sir, madam. Wow. Okay. Nice. This is interesting-ish. Alright, maybe I'm stuck. Hey, I'm a genius. Look at that. Big braid. First space to perform a lunge, which can cross caps. Oh, look at that. It's like a skip, a hop, skipping away. Oh. Oh, okay. I gotta jump this too. I was like, what? Okay, got it. Oh, my bad. God dang it. Dang it, Bobby. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's another one. What's up, dude? Welcome to the Spectral Suites. Can I get past? Listen, I'd love to let you past here, but there's one little problem. The area ahead is a strict, demi-formal dress code. You're walking fashion fiasco. You're a walking fashion fiasco, no offense. Come back once you've spruced up your aft a little bit. Maybe try on a lovely new hat, some new shoes, or something like that. The other gate, er, yes, that's possible. Yes, possible indeed. Quite probable, even. I Renovo, Renevo, am an official member of the Spectral Suite staff. Therefore, I can assure you there is nothing absolutely, absolutely nothing unusual about seeing me at work at one of the main gates here. Okay. Have yourself a stupendous day, madam or sir. I will. Thank you. Interact with shrines to save your game. Game saved. I have one HP. Ah, uh, it's kind of. <laughs> Not ideal. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a genius! You open the chest, you receive the focus boots. You equip this item in the equipment menu. 
The focus boost grants you the ability to perform focus walk. Hold down shift to perform focus walk. While focus walk is active, you will be slower and your hitbox will be visible. This will help you gracefully with weave between bullets. This sounds super freaking dope. Oh my god. Why do I have one HP? Oh my god, that little heart's just my hitbox? I can dodge everything. Wah! Save. I only have one HP. Can I get past? I got some boots. Now that's what I'm talking about. All eyes will be on you with, when when Walt's in there with in those cute boots. There's some grammar issues, but it's it's not bad. Go right ahead. Goodbye. Have yourself a spin this day, Madam Sir. Sir, Madam. I need to save. Game saved. Oh, this is not ideal. Oh, I suck. Okay, wait a second. There's gotta be a... Maybe I do this. I don't know why I went so low last time. I think that was where I struggled. Man, I'm having a stroke looking at these balls, dude. <laughs> There's so many of them. They're everywhere. Oh god, that's stressful. Oh, okay. A ticket. The machinery inside the ticket machine roars quick and clicks quietly. Pull a lever to sit labeled Spence Visitor Ticket. As you pull the lever, you hear the machinery start to spin into action. After a few moments, a slip of paper is dispensed from the machine. This must be your visitor ticket. You received a visitor ticket, question mark. To inspect the ticket, it reads low and cannot print visitor ticket. Please contact. The message fades out abruptly. It must have used the very last of its ink printing this slip. You received a blank ticket. Hey, we got a bunch of blank tickets now. Let's go. All right, boys. Let's continue our journey. Uh, okay. Boom. Hey, we did it. Do I not? Okay, turn this valve back. And then I turn this valve, maybe. And then, ha ha! Huzzah! Play down your save. We did it! You know, this game's pretty neat. I like it so far. The puzzles are interesting, and you actually gotta kind of like pay attention to what you're doing. Oh, you miss everything! I hit the wrong button. Wait a second, I did something wrong. Help. Hmm. Oh, I got it. I got it. Too easy. Kinda. Maybe not. Not easy enough. <laughs> Dang it. Hmm. Maybe I can hit it from this back plant, maybe? Maybe that's what I'm messing up. Oh yeah, maybe. If I can get the angle right. Hit that bad boy! <laughs> God. Hmm. Dang, I really need to figure out how to pop that thing. I don't know how to do it. 
I know I need to hit it, but I don't know how to weave a bullet in between those. There we go. Hey, I'm hitting every now and then. All right, we did it. Good for us. It's a cute game. Uh, examine soil. It's a plot of flesh soil. It does not look like anything has been planted here. Does that mean I can plant something there? <gasps> Harvest moon, eat your heart. Oh, it's a bunny. What's up, bunny? Greenies wonder, 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 I can't say words today. Has your enjoyment flourished during your time in my gardens? I am Springal, Spragoo, the caretaker of this courtyard. In the soil here, you can find a, vari a great variety of plants. All of them are product of my loyal. Originally, I took on this role temporarily after some unfortunate circumstances uprooted the previous caretaker. However, gardening eventually blossomed into a lifelong passion for me. Carefully tending to the plants cuts out the strain of everyday life. You're taking your leave already, you say? What rush? My rush. Might I suggest you, that you stop to smell the ro <laughs> roses, so to speak? Here, won't you take these? Hey. This brings me great pleasure to sow the craft of gardening in the newcomer. Won't you have a hand at planting these seeds and see whether you were born with a green thumb? Passable shrubs. Oh, you must be talking about Burbus stenophyllosa. I have a bundle of those growing around here. As you have no doubt noticed, its stems are covered with sharp thorns. Trying to force your way through is not recommended. Finding a few here and there tends to clear out would-be thieves. During the summer, they will bear an abundance of small, violent berries. I highly encourage you to come back to try some once they're ripe. Be sure to bring some antidote, though. I'm afraid they're highly toxic. Okay, I got it. I just want to see if he's going to say anything interesting. I'll see you, buddy, man. Yes. You pour a few, few seeds out of your sachet and then... Bury, bury them in the soil. Hey. We did it. Progress. Okay. Sure. Just call me Johnny Apple Cat. Hey. Other oh, shops. And there's a new item. I want it. I need it. Bombs. Nobody's here. What is it with bomb stores and having inconvenient business hours? Is that a, that Legend of Zelda joke, maybe? The frickin' uh, bomb chew place being closed? Nobody is in any of these things. How do I get up there? Can I ride this, maybe? No, he moves out of the way. Interesting. All right, let's see where we go to now. This way? Hey. We did it. this we're figuring it out small steps I think that's what I needed to do so I should be good now hopefully so now I should have a leaf to jump to hooray two leaves to jump to actually Boop, boop, boop. Let's go up. Hey, double jump, please. You open the chest, you receive the hourglass. Equipment. Hmm. How do I use the hourglass? I don't know. 
What are these guys doing? What's up, nerds? Hi, welcome to the Hint Corner. We're number one stop for totally righteous tips and tricks. We guarantee that these hints will improve your Sky score in 48 hours or fewer, or we'll give your money back. I'd like to hear a hint. Did you know that your firing spread is concentrated while your focus walk is active? You get real close, you can deal tons of damage this way. I'd like to hear another hint. It's generally easier to dodge bullets if you stand further away from the foe who's firing them. This is because of the something something. Okay. What about you guys? Hiya, beyond this path lies the path of easy mode. I don't want easy mode. No, I want hard mode. Hard mode! Look at that dude, he's got no eyes, he's soulless. Beyond this gate lies the path of masochism. Shall all be traveled? Oh yeah, let's do it. And seasoned dang Damaku veterans, you know who you are. I don't think that's me, but I'm gonna try it. Go out and prove thyself! Okay. Also, if you find that you're not cut out for masochism, remember you can always come back and try a different path. So you might want to know. Oh, and you didn't hear this from me, but on your way here, I think you missed an item that could actually help you on your quest. So if you find things too hard, but I couldn't, I couldn't, man, I couldn't make the jump though. Let's see if I can make it this time. I don't, oh, I see it. I see it now. I'm a ding dong. <laughs> God, you really gotta keep your head on for this kind of <laughs> game. August attire, you can equip this in the equipment menu. Okay. I didn't even notice those little footprints on there. That's crazy. Increases maximum HP by two. Let's go. Now we can take more than one hit. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Save. Alright, let's do this. Slow mo, no lives to use. That wasn't bad. Not too shabby. Mm. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> I knew I was fucked. I wonder if there's an easy way to do this. That I'm missing like horribly. Besides the double jump method I've been using. Cause that seems to work pretty good if I can get it working correctly. But if you can't, you are so fucked. Oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I was missing a very important part of that strategy. I think that's why I was struggling so much. So the thing you gotta do is you gotta watch the front arrows a lot more than you watch the second ones. Because if you can make it in the gap, that's the main thing you gotta do. I'm not focusing enough on making it into the gap. That's why I'm struggling so hard on that part, I think. Versus how I wasn't struggling on it earlier. It's because I was like subconsciously focusing on making it in the gap. Now I just assume I'm making it into the gap. And that's why I'm getting hit by a lot of crap. Learning. Yay. Huzzah! Oh well. All a process. A learning process. Give me good flower RNG, you turd. Ah. 
Nice, nice, nice. I don't like this. I didn't like where that was going, to be honest. Don't like where this is going either, but I made it. Yeah, I don't like this one either. Oh, we hate to see that happen to you. Alright, focus, 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 focus. Focus, 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 focus! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, at least it kept count for me. Oh my goodness gracious. Thank the lord that killed me, dude. 189. <whistles> Spectral Sweets. What's up, man? Hiya, uh, welcome to the hint corner. We have a special new hint about that fancy hourglass of yours now. Sure. Did you know that your camera locks in place when you're- Oh, uh, I don't care. What's that got to do with my, uh... Did you know that you- Oh, no, I didn't. Mm, that's all the hints. Cool. Boy, we did it! Oh my goodness! Hi, uh, welcome to the Spectral Suites. Please show me your reservation and I'll hand you- Just give me the freaking keys. You want to catch these hands? <laughs> oh, you stupid dear lady. This is Azaban. Because I'll kill them all. Okay, what's up, Zariana? Still seems that you're not. What is wrong with you people? Okay. Okay. Supposed to check out months ago, but he's stuck around until now without paying us a cent. Normally, I would send some of our employees to his room to try and reason to with them, but I actually haven't seen any of our employees around in a while. I hope they haven't come down with the flu. But hey, maybe you'll have some luck convincing him to leave. Oh yeah, sure. I don't particularly care how to do it. Just get him out and I'll hook you up with a room around here. Sound fair? Sure. He's staying in room 1303 and floor 13. By the way, here's the key to the room in case he doesn't let you in. Oh, I'm coming for you. As overstate is welcome, deal with him and I'll get you a room here. Oh, it's just awful. A few weeks ago, Asaban, our chief just vanished during our one of our shifts. His shifts. Since he's been gone, we've had to entirely shut down the restaurant. We're not actually sure what happened to him, but it's completely unlike him to go somewhere without telling anybody. I want to believe he's okay, but deep down inside, I know that he must have been kidnapped or worse. Where to start? We're the largest hotel in the region. Well, actually, we're the only one. So if you think about it, I guess we're the smallest hotel too. 
We have an on-site restaurant, library, a myriad of varieties of rooms. So suit to all needs and budgets. Lately, it's been quiet around here. Pretty quiet. Figure that it must be the off season. Is there anything else you want to know about? No. But, oh wait. Tell me about the restaurant. Our restaurant, Strawberry Calzone, has quite the reputation. If you're stopping by, then you should definitely try it. I think we serve other dishes too. Although I can't say that I've had any myself. I'm on a strict diet, you see. I don't eat anything that is vegetarian or Italian. Look at you. Oh, that's right. Fortunately, the restaurant is closed right now on account of Azban being kidnapped and all that. Was it chief or chef? I guess he's the chef. Oh, where to start? The library here is a bit of a strange one. It's full of strange archaic books. Most of the topics you will find there find there were dropped from most of our li other libraries decades ago. I'm so stressed out. That freaking boss stressed me out, dude. Okay, let's go fight this dude. Where's the elevator? Our chef has gone missing. Oh, that's the restaurant. Man, that was a hard boss fight. Is there another boss fight? I don't know if my heart can handle it. Dang, we got a ways to go to get to 1303. Maybe we should explore a little bit. Are they all locked? No point in exploring if everything's locked. What's up, man? It's your lucky day. It looks like the drinks are free. Licorice maze twist. Oh, you don't want to give it to me? Oh, you're out of everything? Nice. Except for the thing I actually want, but it won't let me have. Can I take the elevator? Oh, that makes it. Whoa, there's everyone except for 13th floor. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Thirteen oh three. That's the one I'm going to. Boss fight. I'm assuming. Please help yourself to your complimentary save point. Thank you. All right, let's do this. You unlock the door with the room thirteen oh three key. As you pull it out of the keyhole, the key slips out of your hand and falls directly through a vent on the floor. Fantastic. You hear it clatter downward for a while until it's no longer audible. Drat. Oh man, this looks like a boss. Sargoth. Augustus. Salutations, the sarcophagus. Shouldn't you be checking out soon, sarcophagus? Oh, he's just ignoring me. Someone told me that you haven't been paying for this room, sarcophagus. So you'll have to leave now, sarcophagus. Say the word if you need help packing your possessions, sarcophagus. He's ignoring us. Should I fetch you a trolley to help you move, sarcophagus? Sorry, that has to come to the sarcophagus. That's my last choice. Alright, well. Alright guys, I just woke up. It's time for my payback against the sarcophagus boss. Gonna beat it. Oh man, it's gonna take me a little bit to wake up though, so. Wait a second. Not ready. Not ready. I just didn't even see that ball. That was what fucked me up. I could have maybe got him there. Nah, that was about as good a run I had. Oh well. used to dwell in the past. 28 don't mean anything as long as I don't beat him.
Nice. That's not what we wanted to start with. That wasn't, it wasn't. I died so many times at last count. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Oh man. God. It's the closest I've come to orgasming in my fucking in a while. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh god, that felt good. Man, my whole body just got weak. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. What is this crap? Uh -huh. Maybe if I went on the other side, I could have got something good before I fought the boss. Yeah, I can go on floor six. Why wouldn't I do that? Huh. Don't be another boss. Oh, let's do it. You aren't really sure what the evil ritual entails, so just wave your arms around and well <laughs> gibberish in a spooky voice for a while. Greetings, puny mortal. My name is Valak, the Duke of Stab Toes. Stub Toes. On a, any other day, I would be more ha than happy to crush thee in battle. However, I have a dentist appointment this afternoon, so I'm afraid that thee will has to wait a little longer for thine death. Bitch. I told thee already I'm busy. Ouch, my wisdom teeth. Screw it. What's in the basement? Oh, it's stuff. Who's that Pokemon? What? How do I dash again? On this controller, left bumper? Oh, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Nope. Mm, what's going on here? What do you want from me? Ah. Ah. Hm. Interesting. Yeah, I'm sure I'm gonna find an item that I could use for the sarcophagus boss, but I don't. Whatever. It don't matter. I don't need it. What am I supposed to push this crate to? Ah, over there. Got it. Tracking. Oh, do I get it up? I gotta push it here. Now I go around here. I'm genius. Wow. Should be easy. Now this goes up here for sure. I need to move this one. Do this and then push you here, and then we move you up here. Now we got three perfect, perfect. Okay. 
Should be easy. Easy peasy. Mwahaha. <laughs> hmm. Wait a second. Can I push two at once? Of course not. I don't know exactly what you want me to do here. To be honest with you. Oh, wait, no? That doesn't make sense to me. Huh. Huh. <laughs> I know I gotta get it to move somehow, but none of these are in moving position. Oh. Ah. Oh. No, I want you at it, though. Uh, I don't know, actually. Ah. Maybe right there? Yeah. Okay. Genius. Too easy. <laughs> We're doing it! Where am I supposed to go now? Ah! Genius! Keep forgetting that falling is part of the mechanic in this game. There we go. You really gotta, like, learn where you can fall in between things and stuff like that. Like, to sneak past that guard at the start. That was something that threw me off really hard at the start, is that you have to fall sometimes to, like, get progressed. Ooh, that was hard. Uh, okay. Got yeah, what I can do with that. That is the box I need to reach over there, though. Ah, wait a second, though. I can't push it like that. Oh, I gotta figure out. Oh, wait. I got it. I got it. Too easy. Never fear. Smart Cat is here. I was struggling for a second on that. Got it. Uh, uh. Could push it to the right. But then. Yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out when I get there. Well, we do. What now? How are you gonna get my way now? But how am I gonna get this one to the right is the question. I don't know. There's a will, there's a way, god dang it. Ah, well, I didn't know you could do that, but that's nice. Huzzah! <laughs> Not complaining. You push it from the t It doesn't really physically make sense. It kind of does, I guess. You, like, kicked it with your feet or something and made it move. Got to jump. Didn't really have to do the jumping part on the controller while fighting the sarcophagus boss. Hooray! Give me an item that I should have had for the Sakai. Oh, wow. 
taking your pressure step hostage. If you want to see him again, you'll have to crack the device's code. Here are some clues to help you figure out the code. Uh, Ultima Mensis. Dextral of Euler's identity. This doesn't make... What? <laughs> okay. Oh, I see you've stumbled upon a ransom note, have you? Yeah, what's up, dude? I'm Orvis, Oracle of Security. I'm the one who kidnapped your chef and locked him behind that door. I take it that you've had a chance to review my clues to my little combination like puzzle. Let me guess. Totally stumped. Yeah, I can see it written all over your face, okay? You might as well give up. You'll never crack the code. It's hopeless. Help me. <laughs> give me the answer, dude. I'll kill you. Listen, I'd love to stay here and mock you longer, but maybe even get a few rounds of devilish laughter in. However, I'm afraid that I have some important business to attend to. So toodles. Damn it, dude. Aha! No. I take the library key, I figure out the answer, and then I come back and answer it. That's what, I, that's what we're doing. Give me my freaking reservation. How may I help you? <laughs> Nefurosity? Nefariousity? What? Oh good, thank you so much for that. I didn't know there was multiple ending crap. God. As promised, here's the key to one of our fabulous rooms. It's one of the tip top of the building. I hope you enjoy the scenic view. Azaban has definitely been kidnapped. We have to get to that locked door open at once. Dexter Mark or what? I'm afraid I, I gotta go to the library. It didn't say that, but I I put that together. You better go there at once. See ya. Oh, not that's not the upstairs, okay. Oh man. Help me. I am learning bot 3000. Welcome to the Spectral Suites Library. Please tell me how I may be Can I enter the library? No. I don't want insect knowledge. My quota? It's 100. What? Okay. I got this. Oh, I got a key. I don't care, I have a key. Oh, the back room key. Where's the back room at? You have a library key, my dude? No. Ah! Library key, library key. Yes! Ah, so... That's kind of neat. So I couldn't have gotten an item before beating the sarcophagus guy. He was the... I had to beat him there. Yay! I could go to my room. Let's go to my room. I want to see it's in there, to be honest. 1404, I think it was. God, I'm in the penthouse, ain't I? Ornate door. Not my room. Did she give me a key to a room that doesn't exist? Oh, 1401. I was about to say, I'll beat that. I'll go down there and beat her. <laughs> oh. Whoa, what a nice room. Whoa, we got a better room already. I've seen better days. Better off with. I don't even have a bed. Without all chain or mattress. My room now. There's a chocolate key. Is this a mimic? Are you gonna fight me? Ah! Huzzah! In case you don't want to slow down time, I guess. You can 
Oh, this has its own library. Bed. Oh, no, no, stay awake. Let me in. Alright, so we gotta find the back room, wherever that is. How do we get over there? Oh, I got. Okay, I don't think I have to platform this part, but who knows. Where's the back room at? I have a key for it. The key! Mouse scurries by and bites onto the key, then carries it off into a hole in the wall. Oh, uh, you aren't thinking about going in there, are you? I hope not, because that place is a total bore. Seriously, all the books are on super boring topics. Unless you like knitting ergonomic manuals and fantasy accounting, league strategy guides, that is. <laughs> league strategy guides, well. Oh, and by the way, did you notice I accidentally left a whole bucket loads of hints and clues in this very room? I'm sure you'll have the basement door at all. In no time at all if you were to study those for a while. If I were in your shoes, I'd stay here, right here and just do that. Now I'm good. Oh. I'm we'll, uh, open this, and then I'm gonna toodles. And remember, library back room, more like library bedroom. Snore, trust me, just, just stay away. No, dude. It's mine. This is my birthright. Hey, what did I literally just say to you? Stay out of here. This act of insolence must be punished. The only question is how. Wait, I have just the thing. Don't you fight me. Oh, fireball. Oh, is that it? Horrible curse has been cast upon you. There, now- Oh my god, not my text box. Now you're suffering internally from a garishly repulsive user interface. Passerby would leer at your text boxes whenever you, whenever you strike up a conversation. Children will cry every, whenever you check your items. This is your life from this moment forward. You better get used to it. <laughs> Toodle sucker. What a fiend. It actually doesn't look bad. Can you leave me alone? <laughs> <laughs> can you like leave me alone so I can I'm stuck what it was a really evil curse okay I've earned this okay. I don't care you're screwed dude I'm gonna get the thing and I'm gonna save the chef what's up greetings mortal I'm a magnificent spirit of urban, urban geography I hate geography None shall pass me until they prove their apprehension through a correctly answering the following trivia question. Navedale is known as center of what interest? Industry. Industry. Hospitality. Oh, give me another. Oh, I guess I gotta find the answer and then talk to him. You suck. Cookbook of sorts. Adjust oven rack to bottom position and preheat to 463. That's a lot, Kelvin. Slice mushrooms into quarter moons. I assume it's a lot, anyways. And pre season with avocado oil and cinnamon. Place mushrooms on a tray and transfer into oven. Bake until mushrooms are brown for about 20 minutes. You decide to stop reading. You haven't ate all day. For real. <laughs> I haven't ate either. I feel that. I feel that in my soul. Freaking evil books, dude. Are there any books on this wall I can read? Or do I actually have to go back through the previous room and like read the books for the answers? Ah, oh, that's lame. So lame. Ah, oh, that's so lame. Okay. Ah, oh, whatever. The seer should put a pinch of tea leaves in the cup, then pour boiling water over them, allowing them. Sitters should then swirl the cup in their left hand through ice before handing it back to the seer. The seer should then observe the leaves, see if any of the 
following symbols have formed. Good luck, son. Or good luck, good luck, great luck. Nice. Bad luck, bad luck, terrible luck. Sunglasses wearing dog on skateboard, best luck. Best boy. <laughs> About to bail, worse luck. Interesting. Oh, yeah, I'm not doing that. It's all starting to come together now. Yeah, it is. What the? Yeah, what the heck? Where's the useful books at? Uh... Confused. I only found one book I can actually read. And it doesn't seem too helpful. Alright, whatever. Let's give it another try. One of these probably asked about the tea leaves, maybe? You suck. Don't like you. Mike. Ah. Easy. Ah, no problem, man. Rest in peace, in peace. Nice door that actually let me through. <laughs> God. Versus crappy door that will never let anyone through. Um, yeah, I don't know if that helped me though. I need, well, maybe he asked about the mycological things as well, maybe. What you wanna know, dude? Esoteric wisdom. Oh no. Yes! Okay, awesome. The dog. Sunglasses wearing dog on snowboard, skateboard. That's correct. The red dog is indeed the luckiest symbol which can possibly be formed. Correspondingly, the wipeout dog lies at the other extreme. At last, with the successor to guard the secret of the tea leaves, I may finally reintegrate with the Brahmin. Thank you. No, thank you, dude. Thank you for being a door that's understandable and like that one dick. Some kind of history book. The once bustling city of Navedale has been something of a economic downtick recently. According to the last census, unemployment has risen by over 250% since the end of the Great War, my goodness. Some sociologists attribute the stagnation of the venturing supply economy, which Navedale has historically been the center of. Wait, what did you say to me? What was the answer? Ah, whatever. I'm sure I can answer his question now, though. Because it seems to pop up in the answer choice when you read. Nothing. Venture supplies. That's right, baby. Tavedale is a big time famous for its many venturing shops. Alas, content with the fact that you can answer a broad inquiry about Navedale, I will allow you to pass. Thank you. I'm not saying thank you to you. You were a jerk. Don't like you, Dor. You're my least favorite. That's right, baby! Why would I even answer this guy's question? Hey, dude, how do you even, like, get there? Let me talk to him from the other side. <laughs> I would like for him to ascend to the next life as well. Like, hey, man, I'm totally chilled, spirit of introspective self care. None shall pass me until they're, like, come to terms with themselves, man. But, like, how do you feel right now, dude? I feel hungry. Right, I could totally go for some lunches too. I reckon we should hit up the restaurant later on. Okay, he's just... Actually, let's talk to him about all these things. Word, that's deep. Have you ever thought about what is violence anyways? This freaking door is a pothead. Oh, that's great to hear, dude. Send me something of those vibes. I feel annoyed that you're like, don't worry about it. Life is about the journey, not the destination, dude. You'll get there eventually. You're such a dick. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I can get past him anyways. That door's a dick, too. Super stoner door. Not even having any knowledge, just being a freaking dick. Riddle difficulty selection room. What? Beyond the gate to my south lies a path of impenetrability... Impen... Impenetrably arcane puzzles. These traveling... It are assumed to have extensive knowledge... Uh, not me. The works of Shakespeare. History of the... What the... What gate? This gate? I'm about to Google. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the Google. <laughs> if you ask me any questions too hard. What was the point of this? I'm so confused. Am I supposed to go to the basement now? That... Wait a second. Dang it. Something. Something. Dark side. Pissed. I mean... <sighs> I don't understand. What what was the point of coming over here just for it to tell me the difficulty? What do you want from me? Alright, whatever. Go back. I'm gonna Google this crap. I'm gonna get the answers. <laughs> I'm not freaking I don't know math and historical classical things. My goodness, Tibetan, whatever. Yes, we'll just move on. Cause I had the ultimate date, like the month that the uh, dude died was March. Thank you, sorry. God. Hopefully that didn't ruin uh, the boss fight if it was supposed to be harder. Man, I'm so aggravated. Let me, uh, let me read that out again. Third digit is six, okay. It's 18. Oh, I had it right the first time. I just didn't. Okay. Well, that was easy. After wanting to kill myself for like a fucking year. What's up, dude? I'm here to rescue you. Well, well, well. I see you've managed to crack my code. Very impressive. I presume that you're here to rescue your precious chief. Did I get that right? You're not the only one in town with amazing deductive skills. Uh, my skills aren't in a deductive. Will you release him? Maybe I can serve releasing him if you ask more, a little more politely. Will you please release him? I have to ask more. I'm about to kill you, dude. Still not cordial enough. <laughs> I'm about to kill you. Will you please release him? Pretty please with a bouquet of flowers presented to you by a host of baby angels playing smooth jazz. <laughs> Thanks. Ah. He wants the calzones all to himself. <laughs> Naturally, as a man, he doesn't want to tell me the recipe. However, I have my ways of convincing people, someone to tell me what I want to hear. Convincing someone to tell me what I want to hear. I can't read. So aggravated from that puzzle. I haven't got the recipe out of him yet, but I have him on the ropes. It's only a matter of time now. Hopefully, he's.
boy. Not liking this too much. It's looking like a hit. Can you uh, ask me a question real quick? Go. bad boys at the same time. That was super unlucky, but it worked out. Hooray. What? That's a new question. I think it's magnesium. I'm gonna look it up, though. Azurite and Malachite belong to what metal? Copper. See, I would've missed that. Better be copper. Nice. Oh, we're screwed. Whoa, you hate to see this happen to us. Fire truck red, of course. You stupid punk. Oh, yes! Thank the Lord! He wasn't near as far as the other two bosses, but it took about the same amount of time. Two hours for almost every boss. Oh, man. Horror of bosses. Horrible curse has been lifted. Thank the Lord. Goodness. Where's our chefy boy at? There he is. Come here, Chunker. You untie the dog. Ah, at last, sweet freedom. Or, ah, at sweet last freedom. Do you have any idea how uncomfortable it is to be stuck tied up on the ground for days on him? Or how boring it gets? Yes. Ah, you do my sympathies. I won't bore you with the details then. I will tell you though, by the end of all of it, I was almost <laughs> starting to look forward to my torture trials by Ourobas if only just for a little variety. Yes, he was very clever about why I was abducted. Clear about why I was abducted. He wanted it was after my world famous strawberry calzone recipe. Cooking means the world to me. It's all that, that I really have left. And that recipe is particular and in particular is very important to me. My grandmother taught it to my father, and my father taught it to me. Just giving away something so sentimental to a creep like that is simply unthinkable. A man died over cows, strawberry calzone recipe, my gosh. Anyway, thank goodness for all that being kidnapped stuff is behind me now. My name is Azban, by the way. I know. Although my is my rescuer, I'm pretty I feel you're earned the right to call me pretty much whatever you want. Azzy, Azmeister, Aban. The choice is yours. I'ma call him Azzy. Old Undertale kickback. Fine by me. I work at the restaurant here. It's a one dog show. I'm responsible for pretty much everything taking orders, cooking, serving, cleaning dishes, you name it. Speaking of which, I really must return to my post. Sariana must be worried sick about me. I'd absolutely love to talk more later, though. It's not every day that we get a guest here. Come see me at my restaurant when you get a chance. Go talk to Sariana, and I'm sure she'll make arrangements for you to eat here for free. It's the least we can do to thank you for all your help. Toodles. Why does everybody say toodles? 
I'm gonna finish this game playthrough by tonight, dang it. Or by today. Today. I'm uploading this video today. It's gonna happen. I refuse. Anything less. I'm sorry, Anna. I need a candle, by the way. You did ask. Azaban is back. Thank you so much for tracking him down. Azaban told me that he invited you to come eat at the restaurant. Here's a voucher. You can use it for a free meal there. You received a restaurant voucher. Your name sucks, by the way. You got me killed so many times. The machine has a label which instructs you to insert either a reservation or a voucher. The machine clicks and clacks for a few seconds before printing out a small notice and returning your restaurant voucher. Did not cast. What? You better let me the freak in, dude. Insufficient mana? What does that mean? That's an easy fix. Here, take this. I figured that by now everyone must have some spare voucher mana lying around. That's the only reason I didn't give you some from the start. Oh, yeah? Okay. I'm not happy with you right now. Alright, let me in. Thank you. Got any candles down here, my dude? Is this a candle? Oh ho ho, what's this? Is that a guest I see seated at table four? What a surprise. It's probably the dog. Yeah, <laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Azzy and I'll be your waiter for the night. Actually, I'll be your cook too. May I get you started with a drink? That's so cute. Uh, I'll take some... Coffee? Ah oh, yes, what evening would be complete without a stimulating cup of black coffee? I'll prepare it at once. It's a cute game. Really well made. It's super aggravating, the hard boss fights are, and that puzzle is bullcrap, but you know. Here you are, our smoothest medium roast coffee, coarse, coarsely ground and steep for 4 minutes at 366 Calvin, in the pion press. I can go fetch some milk or sugar if you'd like, however I'd insist that you try it without it first. I predict you'll find it to your liking as is. Now that your thirst is taken care of, would- Yeah, I want a strawberry calzone. As a man reaches out and hands you the menu. You flip open the menu and start reading the first section. Or, or dwarves. Or dot. I don't know how to say that. Or dwarves. <laughs> I can't say it. That's strange. The only available item in the section is a strawberry calzone. You move on to the entrees. <laughs> strawberry calzone. How about the main kings of courses? Strawberry calzone. At least this time it comes with a side of mixed greens. It suddenly occurs to you why it would have been disastrous if. Or a boss were to get his hands on the strawberry calzone recipe. You close the menu after skimming through the rest of it and confirming that this pattern continues the entire way through. Have you decided on your order already? I think I'll just- Ah, oh, decidedly delicious decision. The strawberry calzone is a popular item indeed. Believe it or not, I was ready to recommend the strawberry calzone if you found yourself unable to decide on an item. Poor doggo, man. I'll start preparing your meal immediately. He's, he's special. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> uh -huh. Look at him a little walk around. Here you are, a blue blueberry calzone. Be careful, the insides are hot. It just came out of the oven. I, hmm, good heavens, you're right. You ordered the strawberry calzone, I remember now. How embarrassing, this item doesn't even have the most scant resemblance to your order. I must apologize profusely. We've actually only very recently reopened. We're still getting back in the swing of things, you see. I'll return as soon as I can with your proper order. Come on, man. You only make one thing. How'd you make something else? There we go. That's the flavor. Better not be a banana calzone or some crazy. Here you are, your strawberry calzone at last. Sorry but again I'm about to mix up. Well enjoy your meal, I'll be on my way now. I bet you if I ate it it would have been a strawberry calzone anyways. You got a candle dude? I need a candle. Would you mind if I joined you for dinner? I don't really have anything else to do. Splendid, I'll be right with you. <laughs> oh, we're having a little meal together. 
I'm having the blueberry calzone. I couldn't just let it go to waste. Great to be serving a guest again. I'm really glad that you showed up. I mean, not even just because of the whole being kidnapped incident. I'm not sure if you know this, but you're the first person to come here in a long, long time. It's been months since I've had any guests to cook for. Years, maybe, actually. It's hard to keep track of time when each day plays out the same as the last. But it hasn't always been this way, you know? The restaurant used to be packed every night of the week. It wasn't just me working here either. I had a whole team of cooks and waiters backing me up. All sorts of other folks used to stay at Spectral Suites. Venturers, travelers, merchants, you name it. And they would eat right here, of course. I hate to say it, but in a lot of ways, life was better when Lord Ser Serpo and his legion were around. Sure, death and destruction threatened the kingdom every day. That product was bo pretty bogus. I won't argue that about that. However, having a common enemy like Sarkopov brought everyone else together. The struggle against his legion gave everyone purpose. Everything changed when the unknown hero defeated Sarkopov. At first it was great. There were celebrations in the street. Children were to explore the countryside again without fear. The whole region was in harmony. But as time went on, everyone became so de complacent and directionless. Sarpov's defeat should have meant a world of new possibilities, but nobody seemed to have the foggiest idea of what they wanted to do in the, the new peaceful era. I wish there was something I could do to make things go back to how they used to be, even just a little bit. They are. I'll have to go check that out myself, I think. So, not much point of me sticking around here any longer, so what's the harm? Unless you were planning to eat here again, that is. Well, thanks for listening to my ramblings. Sorry if I bored you. I guess I just had a lot of built up thoughts and nobody to share them with until now. Dinner has been a blast. Let's do this again sometime. Maybe in Nave Dell. Got a candle, my dude? I need a candle. But I need a candle? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, what's up, man? The ice cream cone. Say words with Shrew. Greetings, fellow gamers. It's me, Shrew, the developer of this video game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for so much for playing Prologue for a Vacant Kingdom. You're pretty much done with it. Did you know? Sorry that ending is so abrupt. What have you been playing? What you've been playing was originally envisioned to be the middle section of a longer game. That's still the plan, however, at some point I realized that it wasn't practical to spend years working on a lengthy game without getting some feedback along the way. So that's why you're playing it now. Whether you like the game or hate it or anything in between, I'd really like to hear your thoughts. Bug reports and suggestions would be really appreciated too. There are a couple places you can get in touch at. A, the pilot words. Vacant Kingdoms discussion boards on HIO. Also, if you enjoyed the game, then you'd be really helping me out if you told a friend about it. You say something like, Hey bud, there's this kick and rag game I played called Bank It Kingdom. It's free and I already installed it on your computer. Perfect. Also, I've locked the door from that side and you're not leaving this room until you complete it. Try that. Anyways, please keep an eye out for the full game. It will be called Farewell for Bank It Kingdom. I'm not sure when it will be released. Maybe late 2019 or even 2020. Thanks again for playing. Oh, by the way, you're not actually done yet. There's still one more secret boss that you have yet to beat. Can't tell you exactly where she is, but I can tell give you something that should help you find her. A candle! Thank you. Thank you, Shrew. You got a candle for me? Greetings, pathetic mortal. My name is Shakes, the Duchess of unresponsive motion activated faucets. I'm afraid that I cannot dismantle the in combat today. My back has been acting up again. Dang it, dude. I need candles. Give me candles. There is a chest down there. I don't know how to get to it. Eat it. To me. My precious. Dang it. 
Ah, oh, maybe I can. You are. Ooh la la la. Ho 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 ho. Ho ho. Uh, losing my mind. Games. <laughs> Give me a candle. Yes! Yes! Yes, 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 Hopefully the last demon will just give me the freaking candle. <sighs> you aren't really... So you recite the witch's song from Macbeth for as long as you can... ...and until you forget the words, so only the first line. Greetings, mortal. My name is Yadgant. Yatan, the prince of suddenly having to pee after getting super comfy in bed. That's unfortunate. Thou can certainly infer on thine own. I am incredibly powerful, so much that I cannot be bothered to fight a worm like thyself. Smell thee later. Give me a freaking candle, dude, or die. Thou art not powerful. Candle? Thank God! Thank God, dude! Now we can do this hard boss fight. My goodness. I could have wandered the lands forever and never found the candle. <laughs> Place the tea candle on the floor. The pentagram is complete. Let's summon it. Pop it. You aren't really sure what an evil ritual would tell, so you pretend to play an invisible harpsichord for a while. Shooting, what the freaking bull crap? See, like that, Tom, that's how it should be where they don't just auto spawn and start shooting at you because that's bull crap. I think you really, that's the closest I've gotten. Uh, you better be easy. Ah, now he only shoots two balls. Let's go. We can do it. We can win! It's a miracle! Suffer, eyeball punk. 
my come up it's ah oh, oh, oh. wait Such a scumbag for being it like this, but I got to. I, I can't. I'm not wasting any more time on this boss. With I, I can't. I don't think I could beat it anyways without getting like insane, insanely lucky. Just because being able not to be able to see the whole map is just too much of a problem for me. I can't do that. Like, I'm not good enough to be able to tell where things are bouncing if I can't see the whole map. It's unfortunate, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Room's too big for the zoom, in my opinion. Hooray! Well, we got two achievements, I guess. All right, guys, thanks for watching. That was the game. Oh my god, I can't believe I had to do it on easy mode for the final boss, but whatever. Thanks for watching as always. If you could, please like and subscribe. And I, I really enjoyed this game. Actually, let me get my little review because the creator asked for feedback. I actually really enjoyed the game. Like, it's really well put together. The two criticisms I have, even though they're not really criticisms, it's just me being bad, was the puzzle was too hard. Like, you can't even Google it if you give up to, like, figure out the answer. Like, I found out bits and pieces of it, but there was no way for me to figure out the math problem one. And I'm not sure if I got the chemistry one right or not. I thought it was oxygen with eight. And then I thought the first part was March. And I thought, I think the last part was, um, what was the sonnet? 126. But the uh, two in between ones, I was so iffy on. And the final boss. I don't know if you intended it to be that way. If you did, then it works perfectly because it makes it super hard. But not being able to see the whole map when there's like a bouncing element is just, that's too difficult for me. I can't do it. So it's not really a criticism if that's what you intended, but I can't play it like that. But yeah, it was a great game though. It was a lot of fun. The graphics, the story was really funny and good. And I look forward to the full release, but yeah. Bye.